Hello and welcome back to Life as Mrs. C. Hello. My name is Lydia. And my name is Ruth. And in today's episode, we'll be looking at the characteristics of Vana Chimbosa. Oh. So Ruth is going to help us explain or mm -hmm. rather define who Vana Chimbosa is. Yep. And then we can take it up from there. Yeah, so Vana Chimbosa is um, a term that we use in Zambia. Um, but if we had to directly translate it to English, it would be a female counsellor mm -hmm. or a female marriage counsellor. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, in Zambia, when a woman is about to get married, mm -hmm. likely the family mm -hmm. um, will pick a group of women or one woman mm -hmm. who will help to teach that woman what they can expect in marriage. Yeah. And there's so many things that they teach you. Mm -hmm. um, and so we just wanted to look at what are the characteristics of a marriage counsellor, female marriage counsellor, mm. slash Rana Chimbosa? Mm -hmm. um, and direct translation, what does Rana Chimbosa mean? Rana Chimbosa, I think it, it's a, we could say Rana Chimbosa is a teacher. You know, okay. like we have to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. teacher. I think, that's I, I think, I think that's, that's, that's more or less like a direct translation I can, yeah. I can, I can put out there because I think they teach yeah. more than they counsel. Yes, so I got probably you. I could say I, that I they're. You. I think yeah, yeah we couldn't really one. call them like a counselor per se. Yeah. Obviously, counseling is part of their description. Yeah, but it's not the thing. They I are more you. of a teacher. Yes. Yeah. Of yeah. what you can expect in marriage, they cover so many different aspects, mm -hmm. and we've got a series coming up. <laughs> At some point where we talk a little bit in depth on those things yeah. or some of those things. So yeah. stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so mm -hmm. that you don't miss out because it is definitely going to be a hot topic. I am telling you. Yeah, it will. <laughs> exactly. So we thought, how can we define what, what you know, the characteristics of this woman? So mm -hmm. um, we came up with the idea of Titus. So if we look at the Bible, if we look mm -hmm. at Titus 2, what does it mean? And I and I think we both believe that um, when we use the Bible um, to kind of guide us in our work in our lives, then mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it will it will make things easy and plain without having to yeah exactly. It's all yeah. in the Bible. So what I'll do is I'll read quickly mm -hmm. um, Titus two verses three to five. Yeah. Um. So starting Titus two, New King James Version, the older women likewise mm -hmm. that they be reverent in behaviour. Mm -hmm. not slanderers, not mm -hmm. given to much wine, mm -hmm. teachers of good things, mm -hmm. that they admonish mm -hmm. the young women to love their husbands, mm -hmm. to love their children, mm -hmm. to be discreet, yeah. chaste, mm -hmm. homemakers, mm -hmm. good, mm -hmm. obedient to their own husband, mm -hmm. that the word of God may not be blasphemed. Amen. Did I pronounce those words correctly? You did. All Amen. right, thank Amen. you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot in that but in that it's, verse. You know that verse is or loaded. Those verses, yeah, those, so those those verses are loaded. And I think like um from a Christian point of view, I think that's where they come from. Yeah. Although we won't go so much into detail because I feel like yeah, we, we take it from the Christian point of view. Yeah. And then we also go the traditional way, which could be a bit from the secular point yeah. of view. Yeah. But I would yeah. love us to Focus we would, on for us we would we would focus on um, the Christian point of view, because as we have said, we're a Christian channel. Yeah. And what? So when we? So the reason why we decided to bring this up is because in any situation, like mm -hmm. for example, if you're going to pick a car, you kind of check to see what does this car have. Mm -hmm. If you want to pick a house, mm -hmm. even your husband or your wife, yeah. you choose what are the characteristics that you want. So yeah. we really believe because this is somebody or a group of women who are going to be teaching you a lot about what's to come in mm -hmm. marriage mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they're teaching you some things you may know already and some yeah. things you may not know so yeah. you so when i say you i'm saying us we want to make sure that mm -hmm. this person who's teaching us first mm -hmm. of all is sound in the word mm -hmm. they're christian mm -hmm. and whatever yeah. it is that they're teaching us exactly. they're stemming this from the word of god exactly because yeah. like Lydia said, it can come from a cultural point of view and that can clash with the word of God. It can mm -hmm. come from a secular point of view and that can clash with the, uh, from, um, mm -hmm. with the word of God. Mm -hmm. So give us, using this scripture, what are some of the characteristics that you would be looking for in mm -hmm. a Chimbosa? Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, like the first one has already been said, this person has to be an older woman yeah. or older women. Um, 
and I, I i personally think that these people need to be mature yeah now the maturity we are talking about is not not age because you know sometimes age is <laughs> age can be funny yeah. sometimes age can come yeah. with um yeah. maturity Definitely. and sometimes age can come with I mean, I, I do believe that age does come with some form of maturity. Oh, yes, yeah, certainly. But then the certainly. level of maturity it comes with is also dependent on a lot of factors. Yeah. You know, when a person, a, a child who is two, three, two years, five years, is going to be different from somebody who is 10 years. 10 years, yeah. Okay? Definitely. When you're 15, obviously, you know now that we are 30, we yeah. are totally different from the way we were when we were 20. Yeah. So there is some form of maturity that comes with age, but yeah. also, um, I could say with experience yes, as well. Yes. So for me, I would say like from this context, yeah. a person who is mature yeah. and married yeah. or has been married, married before, before yeah. um, mm -hmm. would be ideal. Got you. Because, yeah, most of the information that you want to pass on would be, I, I think marriage is very practical yeah. than theoretical. Because yeah. I think sometimes we learn a lot of things theoretically. And I think even in college, mm. there is so much that we learn theoretically. Yeah. Then when you go on the job, you're just like, yeah. what am I doing? This was to get me the interview yeah. that the skills that I'm required to learn exactly. or maybe how I learned yeah. in school is going to help me to learn this new skill here. Exactly. But I am with you. This is yeah. different. It's like how we learn how to write a report at school. Like I found it annoying. Like the report that we learn in, you know, tertiary ed education is so complicated. Then when you go for a company, they just have this template that you need to fill in. It's like... <laughs> So quick, like why do we spend so much so time much on a report? Oh, <laughs> learning on how to do a report. Mm -hmm. Or oh, vice yeah. versa. You <laughs> learned to read you got it well in school and then now they're giving you a really complicated one. Yeah, that's true. Like so there's a like, lot oh, to write. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're like, this is not what I learned in school. <laughs> that's so I'm with you. You also want them to have a characteristics of is this somebody who's going to teach me what is good? Mm -hmm. Like what do you know of this person mm -hmm. that what they're might say or about to say is it going to be of good value is it going to be of yeah. good like you know good substance mm -hmm. you know there's mm -hmm. so much that you can tell or not yeah so much that you can tell it's not everything from mm -hmm. how, how much you know of that person mm -hmm. whether they're likely to teach you good or mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. so you want to pick somebody who you know is going to teach you good mm -hmm. and not that good also includes are they teaching you how to love your husband mm -hmm. and are they teaching mm -hmm. you how to love your children mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I guess we're going to go into it a little bit more because I think in our context, it's a lot of it is done um, just before you get married. So mm -hmm. you might not have children. Mm -hmm. In certain circumstances, you might already have children. And then mm -hmm. so you might have to teach about loving your husband and your child. But mm -hmm. in, in the context where you don't mm -hmm. have children, mm -hmm. you might just be taught on how to love mm -hmm. your husband. Mm -hmm. But you also do want somebody to be able to teach you how to love yeah. your children. Yeah. So I guess we'll, we'll discuss that in a bit more. So mm -hmm. I think there's so much that you need to look for in this person who is teaching you. Mm -hmm. Because where you're going, like marriage is, it's beautifully hard. Yeah. And you want to be it's beautifully hard. <laughs> yeah. That's like you that's want an interesting <laughs> statement. You don't want somebody who's going to tell you every minute if things get tough, be like, oh, just leave her. Like, just leave him. They need to be of sound mind. Yeah. Yeah. Person who is of sound mind. And I think, um, like moving on, you know, I think Vana Chimbusa should also be pre personally, I, I think yeah. they should have a personal relationship with your parents definitely i um, think that I, that that literally falls yeah. into how do you because you won't yeah. know you because won't you know, know sometimes character. i i think um i do appreciate there are people who do it for business purposes yeah um so they are hired and all this but i think this should be people that your parents know and if possible that you know because mm. you know if, if someone is going to teach you you want to be free to ask a question Yes. You know, you want to be free to go back two, three years down the line and ask a question. Yeah, definitely. But if you're put in a position where you can't even ask a question, you yeah. think because I think, you know, when when you go on to this other side of life, all right, uh, going to seek advice and asking questions yeah. wouldn't seem as easy as it looks. Yeah. Like you it has to be people that you've bonded with. It has to be 
a relationship that has been built over time, like a longer time. No, uh, yeah. not just during you know those just before sessions. you get married. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I I couldn't agree with you more, and mm -hmm. I think not on i i would give it a good 50 50 personally because mm -hmm. like we're sort of giving it uh, mm -hmm. we're saying personally everybody's mm -hmm. different but mm -hmm. you knowing them 50 50 mm -hmm. as well as your family knowing them because yeah we trust that our family have good our good intentions at heart mm -hmm. and also you knowing them because like you said mm -hmm. when you're married and you have questions or mm -hmm. things are difficult mm -hmm. you want to be able to go to them and i see a lot on facebook groups mm -hmm. um on you know the ones that we follow and they're like oh didn't want to teach you this Oh, it's like you only bring them in when there's mm -hmm. trouble. But mm -hmm. if this is it, like when, and that trouble is not just any trouble. It's like real, real trouble. Then you have to dig out and find where's the number for Rana Chimbosa. Mm -hmm. On you know, like you're like, yeah. oh yeah, who was yeah. your Rana Chimbosa again? Mm -hmm. Or who was the uh, who's what's the guy version? The man version. <laughs> I forgot. The man version is Vashukombe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or who was Vashukombe? Like, let's bring let's bring them together. We need mm -hmm. to discuss something real deep has happened. And it's like, mm -hmm. actually, this should be people that even by the before the the things get hot, mm -hmm. that you are at, you have such a good relationship that you can go to them within even with the minor things, mm -hmm. because it's those minor things that if they're not dealt with, can become the big things in marriage. Yeah. So yeah. I completely agree with you in that because mm -hmm. if you bring a stranger to come and tell me how to live i will listen but even at school with mm -hmm. teachers you also have your favorite teachers you know the teachers yeah, that yeah. you're so confident to raise up your hand and answer a question mm -hmm. even though you know that mm -hmm. it might be wrong and you know the ones yeah. you just keep quiet z so you want to have a good relationship with that person yeah yeah so I think it definitely, yeah, I think a relationship both ways. Other point that I wanted to add, Lydia, was that mm -hmm. sometimes I think um, people might pick a Rana Chimbosa or a group of Rana Chimbosa because they're entertaining. And there's, yeah. there's like word has gone round to say these people can mm. entertain like your yeah, guests like will be your happy like will it be. will be the talk I, of the yeah so yeah. I and I think it's great for the mm. entertainment part but that's not what when somebody says Rana Chimbosa I don't think that's the primary role yeah. and so your make sure, I would say make sure that they fulfill the primary role and that's mm. secondary like yes yeah. it's great to have some entertainment absolutely but you know sometimes but, I get mixed up Mm. Because I think Rana Chimbusa are the ones that sit with you at a kitchen party. And Rana uh, Chimbusa are still there whether you get to have a kitchen party or, or not. not. Like, yeah. these are people that, you know, you spend time with. Yeah. You know, that's teaching time. Like, so many things get to be done there. Um, like Ruth said at the beginning of the video, that's something that we'll start tackling. We are still warming up. <laughs> it means that <laughs> those topics need, need more warm-ups. <laughs> <laughs> so when we you fully will see when we start talking about it, then we'll start talking about it. But um, yeah, like there are various reasons that people pick Vanachim. But for me, I I think it's not just somebody, especially when it's done as a business. Usually, people, it's I want to fulfill. You know, when you're paid for a service, yeah, you are like I want to fulfill yeah. the service. So there is a detachment between the client. Yeah. And the person offering and, the service. Yeah. But I feel like this is one area where there should be attachment between yeah. the person Find receiving way. information yeah. and the person giving information. Mm -hmm. I, and got I, I, I don't know if. No, if I got you. Sense. I think it's the thing is, it's not. It's it, I, I'm, I'm with you. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know what you're saying. It's like we want. Mm -hmm. I would like to have more of a connection that I'm buying mm -hmm. this from you and you're buying this and you're giving this. Mm -hmm. I think what that doesn't allow is that continuity in, of the relationship. Exactly. So it's like once you're married, yeah. that job is done. Then you find that you go, you might go to different people just because you have yeah. a better relationship with them. Yeah. But if you realize, and I think it's just saying this is our view. But already, if you if you realize okay. that and you're happy with that, then that's fine. That's okay. That's it's not, fine. yeah, it's like everybody okay. has a choice. <laughs> everybody so has a choice to do I it. I want this they and I'm not, and they're going to teach me for this session and I don't need their services anymore. Mm. And I want this, this package. Mm. That's literally okay. Yeah. I think we're yeah. just here to say, this is what we think and this is what our idea would be. Mm. Um, and then you can pick up a thing or two from what we've said mm -hmm. to see if mm -hmm. it resonates with you. Mm -hmm. No, I do agree. I do agree with you. I think, honestly, like relationships, especially yeah. in in this category, I, I think they're important. They are, and I think sometimes mm -hmm. 
this the idea of money chimbusa is absolute it's not just an idea it's beautiful and i feel like we can see it in the bible yeah, yeah, yeah. it has stemmed from something good, good. yeah like, it comes it from is, something good yeah. the whole idea of it is it's good beautiful and we've yeah. got full evidence there of women teaching younger women yeah. and yeah. teaching them how to run their homes how mm. to love their husbands mm. and their children mm. so that concept is absolutely amazing and i think we have that in so many areas mm. in our society mm. but with time and age things change and we add and subtract yeah. and that can be dangerous yeah. but i think if we stuck to what scripture says you know it's i think scripture is beautiful because it's it's complete yeah if i can put it that way it has given us the characteristics of who this person should be yeah okay and then it goes on on what they should what teach. should what they should teach yes so and yeah people have gone out of the boundaries and um yeah I, I i i guess it's it's society it's cultural it's yeah us being part things. of the world but it's, yeah, it's, 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 definitely. it's yeah like you yeah. said it's it's a multiple things cause it but it's just so beautiful like it's so explicit it's there. who this person should be and what, what they, they should, should teach and focus so, on that's it yeah we thought we could just have that time to share yeah some of these thoughts as we keep warming up mm-hmm on um more topics about Vana Chimbusa. Yeah, our friend holding our friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got a little friend who's joined oh, us. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna be three of us. We're gonna be three of us <laughs> with a little one here. Yeah. So if you hear babies in the background and <laughs> some coming know. videos <laughs> For one minute we walk and we're all oh, looking oh, fine. fine and then we've got porridge or we've got something on Don't the way worry. back. It's fine. Life is happening and Life we're enjoying happening. it. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. I I think we've exhausted. We have. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Until next time, it's bye bye from bye -bye. us. There bye. might be three of us next time. <laughs> you never know.